Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be opening up and trying on everything that I received in my April BoxyCharm. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also turn on that post notification bell so that you are notified when I post. I post tons of content, fashion, beauty, reviews, unboxings, try-ons, everything. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell and let's get into it. In case you guys aren't familiar with BoxyCharm, it is a monthly $21 subscription box. You receive it every month and they send you five usually full size items. So I'm going to try everything on that I got this month and then share my final thoughts with you guys. So let's get into what I got. This month's box looks like this and it says peace, love, and boxy. I think it's more of like a festival themed box. So the first thing is this set of brushes from Luxie, which you guys probably already know that I love Luxie brushes. So this is the Summer Days brush set. And on here it says that it retails for $28. The Luxie Summer Days three-piece brush set was curated for the perfect festival look that will last all day. Use the Luxie 512 small contouring brush to sculpt and define your cheekbones. While the Luxie 245 small shader brush is perfect to pat on your base shadow and glitter, grab the Luxie 209 large shader brush to pat on and blend out any eye look. So... This is what it looks like. The handles are really pretty. So I already have my foundation and powder on. I'm going to go in with this one, which is the 512, the small contouring brush, and do a little bit of contouring, and then I'll finish up my face makeup. I like this brush. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I still like this side of my hourglass brush better. I think it's just... A little bit bigger and more diffused this is so small that I feel like it's hard to like blend it out and make it look natural I think it'd be good if you were doing like a very very like precise contour but I don't really ever do that so I'm gonna finish up my face makeup and then we'll move on to the next item next in the box is from artist couture I've actually never used anything from this brand before but this is the diamond glow powder in the shade summer haze it looks like a really pretty golden color. So this says that it retails for $27. This all-natural, vegan, and cruelty-free loose powder highlight can be used on the eyes, lips, face, and body. The versatile formula is highly pigmented and suitable for all skin tones. Create a subtle, luminous finish or layer on for an unreal glow. So let's see. Okay, it has one of those like twisting sifters. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the cap. This sifter is really hard to turn, so I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go in with my Luxie 522 brush, and I'm going to try and pick up the smallest amount of this ever. It looks very, very glittery and glowy, so I'm just trying to tap off as much of it as I can. Okay, that's definitely very, very glowy. Okay, just to show you guys kind of what it looks like. That is it. It's a really, really pretty highlight. I don't generally go for um, loose powder highlights, but I mean, this one is really pretty. I still don't know how much I would actually reach for it because... It's much more pigmented than I normally go for. I'm kind of more of like a natural highlight kind of girl at the moment at least. Um, I do think it's pretty. I don't know how flattering it is on my skin tone. It looks really golden in here, but it almost looks icy on my cheeks. So I don't know. The formula is nice. I'll play around with it. Moving on to eyes, we have this palette from Pure. This is the Festival 12-piece pressed pigment palette. And it says that it retails for $36. So this says, unleash the ultimate festival vibes with this limited edition 12-piece pressed pigment palette that's complete, complete with bold imaginative pigments that elevate your look for any occasion. From boho-inspired metallics to eye-catching glitters, each cruelty-free shade is infused with skin-loving ingredients. And it retails for $36. So the outside pack... No, it'd be help if I turn it on the right way. The outside packaging is really pretty. And then on the inside, see if we can get that off. I've never seen it before that the plastic part is actually attached. 
Okay, so this is what the colors look like. It does have a nice sized mirror. And I mean, to be frankly honest, I have no clue when I would ever wear this pink or this bright purple. And I mean, truly probably these two either just because they're so chunky of glitter, but we're still gonna make a look out of it. I'm gonna go pretty natural just because that's just how I am. So I'm just gonna point to the colors as I apply them and speed this up for you. Okay, the shadows were okay. They definitely weren't my favorite. I didn't use all of them, obviously. I used these three, so basically these four, this little L shape. Um, I will do swatches of all of them so you guys can see what all of them look like. All things considered, I feel like it turned out okay. I did use both of the other two Luxie brushes. This one I just used with nothing on it just to blend everything back out. And the shader brush to pack the color onto my lid. I think that it worked fine. We'll see what it looks like when the rest of my makeup is done. I know that a lot of times that's kind of like what pulls your look together. So next in the box is this from Beauty For Real. This is the Finish Line 24-7 Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. I have tried the pencil liners from this brand and I really did not like them. So we'll see if this one is any better. Okay, this one has a pretty thick, almost like a market a marker tip to it. So I just did a swatch, a really thick swatch, and it's nice and black. It looks like you can do a thin line as well so i'm just going to trace my upper lash line with this okay the the marker tip is not flexible at all which is making it hard to draw a nice even line i think this would be really hard for beginners to use because it is thicker and it's not flexible i almost forgot to say what the details for this were. This retails for $16. It says the Finish Line 24-7 Liquid Eyeliner is a mistake-proof pen that creates a clean, wine, clean line in one steady sweep. The tapered precision brush makes it easy to apply pure deep color from thin to thick while the intensely pigmented formula makes for 24-hour smudge and budge resistant wear. Um, I think it looks okay. It definitely wasn't as easy to use as the majority of my other liquid eyeliners, so I don't think that it'd be really great for beginners, but I do think it's pretty pigmented. But yeah, the last item in the box is from Butter London. This is the Power Up Mascara, and it says that it retails for $20. Experience length definition and curl retention with Butter London's Power Up Mascara featuring all day wear. With the first swipe, a unique oil-free blend of nourishing waxes instantly produces noticeably longer and more defined lashes. A second swipe adds thickness and volume without clumping. The soft and creamy formula is infused with hydrating jojoba, oil, jojoba extract and water-resistant polymers to reduce smudging and flaking for a full eight-hour day. So I'm going to curl my lashes and apply this and we will see how it applies. Okay, this is what two layers of that mascara looks like. It's not bad. It's not my favorite mascara ever, but I will say it's not bad. It's actually probably my favorite thing that I've ever tried from Butter London. I added up the retail cost of this box and it is $127. And it does retail for $21 if you buy the box, which I will link it below like I always do. So let's run through the products really quickly. The Luxie brushes, this is not my favorite set I've gotten. I love Luxie brushes. This set was okay. The shader brush is probably the best brush in my opinion. The um, contour brush, I actually did like it, but it just like, I think it's just a little too small for me. So the brush set was eh. The highlight 
is I kind of feel the same way about this. The formula is really good. I just am not really a loose powder highlight kind of girl. This would probably be really pretty on your eyes too, but it would be a bit messy. So this, I think I'll definitely play around with it. And I think I will try it on my eyes next, potentially. It has potential. I don't think it's my favorite product I've ever gotten in a box before. The Festival palette is pretty. I think this would be a fun palette if you are more adventurous with your eyeshadow looks than I personally am. I'm all about the neutrals. So this obviously has some really bright colors, some glitters, stuff like that in there that I'm probably not gonna get as much use out of as I would if I was more adventurous with my eyeshadow. The eyeliner was okay. I think that it's not very user friendly. I think if you're a beginner, you're gonna have a hard time getting a nice, straight, precise line with this. It was really easy to accidentally make it thicker than I wanted it to be. So this was an eh. Again, I said before I've tried the other, the pencil liners from this brand and I was not a fan. And then lastly, the mascara. This again was okay. Um, not my favorite mascara, but I do think that I'll continue using it, so that's a plus. All in all, this wasn't my favorite box. It wasn't my least favorite box. It was kind of like a middle ground kind of box. We will see what they come out with next month. That is everything for this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you get BoxyCharm. Did you get the same thing I got? Something different? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know all the things down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.